So hey guys, Liam here from Primal Nomad. Hope you're doing well. I'm actually here in Thetford Forest. I've just driven for about an hour and a half. I'm just about to meet up with someone really special. I met up with him the last time at uh, my local village actually, but before that it was at the coastal camp with Dustin and his name is Craig from East Anglian Bushcraft. I'm sure you all know him, but I'm so stoked to be here for an overnight camp with him and his friend Ben. So let's get going. So I've been given a what three words location that I'm heading to now. It's gonna be awesome. Really nice woodland. Really, really nice. Loads of moss on the floor, loads of pines, some oaks, some birches. It's great. I haven't even finished setting up yet. Hey bro! What's up, you massive bunch of legends? How are you doing? You know him, Craig from East Anglia Bushcraft, and there's Ben. He's a very good friend, you've probably seen him on some of his videos. He's got a massive 4x4, it looks like, tarp. Craig's on the floor with the, his nice 3x3. Three three. And I'm going to set up the Levu somewhere around here. Oh nice, yeah, it's got some good tracks there man. Yeah. Good jumps. Got the Levu all set up now. Oh yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's looking well man. Finally got the pegs situation sorted. So Levu's all set up. Craig's got his tarp set up. Ben also has his monster 4x4 tarp set up. There's a huge plow point set up and he's got some really cool bits. So I'm looking forward to it. Gonna go collect some firewood and I think Ben's gonna be starting the fire later. So I'm so stoked to be here. Um, I'll bring you along, Craig, how you doing, man? All good, mate. I'm using my new DD map for the first time. Oh, nice, buddy. I don't hold much hope for it, but we'll see. <laughs> the valves normally go on me on these things. Oh, no. It's... Not this particular one, but for all the mats I've had in the past. That's why I normally stick to the foam roll mats, because they just never fail. Less to go wrong, eh? <laughs> We've got the sleeping bag all in the bivvy now. It's going to be a cushy night. So Craig's just been clearing the fire pit area, down to bare earth and some sand and what have you, getting rid of the roots in the area, and then uh, we're going to go collect some firewood. Ben's going to start the fire, so it's going to get nice and warm. It's quite chilly today, um, but I think it probably will warm up if a bit of cloud cover comes over, which looks like it is. So we're just about to go collect some fire for the uh, firewood for the self-feeding fire that we're going to do today. Um, like Craig, I've never done one before, so pretty stoked to get one of these going. It should keep us warm all through the night um, and just mean we don't have to keep going looking for, for logs and what have you. So yeah, going to go do that now. So I've got my new Gomboy saw. I've had it for quite a while, a few weeks now, but it's really good to get it out. Awesome little thing that rips through wood. Right, the 
ladder or okay. pitch it. And with a ladder, you go four to one. So for every four measurements up, you go one out. Yeah. Looking at the the pitch of the pitches that we've been looking at for our ideas, I'm thinking it's more of a three to one. So for every three lengths we go up, whether that be three meters or three feet, yeah. we're going one foot to one meter out of the base. I like it. So that's that's my theory. We might be wrong, we might have to adjust it. That was for quite fat logs. We'll make it work, brother, I'm sure. We'll make it work. We always make it work. We always make it work. I'm on the hunt for a forked stick now for the self-feeding fire. I've just come across some hornbeam and a few different species, some ash. So I'm going to have a little look here, see what I can find. There's a bit of hazel here which might do the trick. So what's really cool about being in another woodland, one not familiar to myself, it's just all the little bits of treasure you find. And it may not look like treasure, but how cool is this? And it's uh, something I often talk about, finding flint in the roots of trees. So this is a wind-blown um, hazel. And what you can see down here is loads and loads of flint. Now that would be really cool, because you could definitely find some bits here that you could fashion into a tool if you were in the need. Even something like that has already got a fairly sharp edge, so you'd want to whack that side to try and flake off to make a point, and that could act as a little carver, something to make feather sticks with, or just aid. Really, really cool. Some bigger bits here, and it sounds like fairly good flint. So there's this wind-fallen tree here. I'm just going to take some sections in between to put behind the props to support the self-supporting fire. Good wood that. Yeah. There's a bit of ash, I think. Nice. Have a go. I might have a whip yeah. at that through this bigger one. Have a go. What a monster, yeah. man. <laughs> nice one, mate. Mate, that shreds. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> that is a beast. <laughs> nice I'm making up for something small that I've got. No, <laughs> I'm sure he's not. <laughs> Is it can be. See, yeah, I was thinking this could go like behind a little. Yeah, a little extra support. Just a little, you know, to, yeah. to get up and we can roll it back on what height we need it. Yeah, yeah. like it a lot. Once, well, if we roll it back to wherever we want it, we can just pack it in with a bit of hazel, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like okay. that. <laughs> like that a lot. So I think we need to cut that down, put a bike on it, bang it in. Nice. And then tuck it under. Self-feeding fire's coming along nice. Craig's just hitting the other side there. We're gonna get some logs down, wetter ones at the top so they can dry out, drier ones at the bottom, it's gonna be ace.
We've just got to get two more Y bends for this area here and we're good to go. So while the lads are just getting some more wires for the self-feeding fire, I'm just going to process some of this timber up into kindling, smaller pieces ready for the fire. Um, it's all handy because it's nice and dead and dry. It's one of the benefits about pine. Lots of kindling material on every branch. So after seeing Craig just crack into his first bevy, I thought it was time to join, join in. So I've got a Brooklyn Defender IPA here, just a nice, really tasty beer. Always love these. Something to kick start the day. Cheers, lads. The hazy Cheers, Jay boys. Guava. Cheers for coming down, Liam. Really oh, appreciate no, it. No, honestly, awesome definitely drop him a subscribe. I'm sure you already do, but if not, massive likes, awesome content, and yeah, can't wait, bro. Legend, bro. Safe. Cheers, man. <laughs> you have to wait for my YouTube channel, guys. You know, it's not there. It's going to come, but by the looks of your uh, your fire lay, it's going to be awesome, and your little shelf and stuff. It's a really cool little setup, bro. And the self feeding fire, Craig show. It's going to be a beast. So the fire's coming along nicely. Craig's just doing a little bit of carving on some pegs over there. And Ben's preparing for the fire. Yeah, so what are you doing, doing some fat wood? Well, yeah, I've got some resin out of the, the pockets on the pine trees. Oh, yeah. I just tucked that in there. I'm going to get you some of this fat wood, scrape up some of this birch that you've dug me out. Nice. And uh, hopefully that'll take with my new ferro rod. Perfect. First time trying it. I'm sure you're going to be fine. Cheers, dude. I've got, I've got the boys with me to make sure I am. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Seems to be the uh, unspoken rule. Yeah, mate, this wood is so fat. It's real nice. So while Craig's just pegging in the bottom of the fire there. I'm going to have a little look back through this area for some logs that are going to be suitable for the self-feeding fire. I'm going to head back to this ash that we were at earlier and then harvest a few more logs of this. It's perfect, really nice and dry on the inside despite the moss that covers it, but that should burn off really nice and well and provide some good heat for cooking on and for keeping us warm. So a good thing about the silky saws, they've given you an extra click, and I think it's for when you're on the deck, I found it works really well. Put it to that second click and it keeps the blade flat. That's so awesome, buddy. And I think a lot of people might not know what that's for, but that's what I found works really well. That's such a handy trick, for dude. When, yeah, just for when you're close to the floor. And this is why Craig is an absolute legend. Just one of many reasons. <laughs> Cheers, brother. <laughs> Get out with an axe much, Liam. I do. Um, I haven't in a while, to be honest. I bought a little wildlife hatchet at the bushcraft show. Yeah. Uh, which is really cool. I wanted something a bit smaller. Yeah. But I do like axes. I use them for carving quite a bit. Yeah, man. That's what I found as well. Like, I want something a little smaller because most tasks you realistically do with it, you just don't need one. I can smash that. Yeah. That's looking well cool. And the thing is, mate, I think they need to be a little steeper because of the nature of them logs, but it's as simple as that. So you get them steeper, look at that, that. Just oh, push them in. This is what I was on about, about that three to one. That ain't a ladder angle, is it? That's too mellow for a ladder. Yeah. But ladders, ladders are four to one. So I think these are running about three to one. So it's a really cool little trick to know if the uh, wood that you're collecting sounds like a fire crackling it's probably or definitely dry enough to burn so if it sounds you know just like a fire crackling like that definitely good this is some ash so even if it was a bit green it would be fine 
but nevertheless, awesome stuff. Yeah, boy. Well done, Ben. Good job, brother. Cheers, guys. Thank you for your help, for the teachings. Legend. Nice one, Craig. There are no <laughs> rules here. There are none. <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn Greenwood. <laughs> you just actually get that feeling of being a little bit free when you're out in the woods, don't you? You do, ma'am. That's all I want. That little bit of freedom. That's why I want my own woodland one day, I think. Oh, yes. That's the dream, right? Literally the dream, man. What a good looking fire, boys. Yeah, man, we've nailed it, haven't we? Savage work. So I'm going to go get some more firewood with Craig, he's coming along, um, yeah, really enjoying the time. Awesome to be out in Thetford Forest, um, so cool to explore new locations. It's just like such an awesome moss kind of landscape here. Um, there's fighter jets constantly going over, which isn't an issue to me, I think it's really cool. Um, but I'm going to collect some of this pine off the lower branches and boughs of these trees and uh, yeah bring this over for some firewood. Oh shit. Ben's cutting up some wood for the fire, which is absolutely awesome at the moment. Look at that guys. Such a vibe on that. Self-feeding fire, really, really working well. Got some of the logs in at the bottom now, and they're starting to burn up and ember the other ones. Having such a good evening. I've just been given this Brewdog Hazy Jane Guava and it's an absolutely awesome drop of beer. So really having a nice time. We're gonna go, go and get some food sorted in a minute, chop up some vegetables, because Craig's got an epic feast for me. How's it going, Craig? Oh, mate, I'm living the dream, man. Yeah, Do good man. Doing what we do best, man, having a good time in the woods. That's it, living dude. Living our lives, mate. Such a sick fire, eh? Mate, it's turned out really well. It has. Actually, it's actually functioning. It's not just a showpiece, it actually works, which is pretty cool. I've never done one before, so. No, me neither, man. I'm stoked with how it turned out. Good to share it with you. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. Sierra Nevada. Nevada. Sierra Nevada. Handcraft. Where's it coming out of? Sierra Nevada? Yeah, I Where's believe that? so. In the USA? In the US. The great US. Which state is that? Nevada. Nevada. <laughs> of course. The desert. Yeah. yeah. Vegas. Oh, Craig. Oh, you're going to love that. That's a nice drop, isn't it? That's, that's a lovely drop. Life and death. Oh, bro, you could drink that all night, right? You like it? That is a session oh, beer. Oh, that is a like lovely session beer. Do you just drink? Oh, you could just drink that all night, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. That's the one, man. They do a California as well, which is really nice. Lovely. It's so light and easy to drink. It's you great. You can just wind them back. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ben has just gifted me this awesome gamma ray by Beaver Town, so I'm going to crack into that and uh, yeah, get on with the evening. That's lovely, Ben. Thank you, mate. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Craig's just about to cut up some vegetables now. Um, he's got carrots, potatoes. He's going to cook all the veg in a northern monk, which is insane. Um, can't wait. And he's got a whole roast kind of dinner for me, so I'll bring you in closer as he progresses. Shout out to Marmaduke Creations, by the way, for this seeker knife. Craftsmanship's on another level as well. Right.
Save your tears and save yourself the shame Cyclone It's doing good Chicken's on, veg is looking good Water's on, what's the water for? The stuffing? The stuffing, yeah, stuffing. yep and then we've got the pigs in blankets to go on as well. Oh boy. Absolutely. Crisp up nice as well in that tin foil. That was a good shout for bringing that, Ben. Yeah. So the stuff has just gone on the grill. It's looking awesome. The vegetables are cooking away in the billy can. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Ben's on gravy duty. Craig's doing the pigs and blankets over there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude. Got some giant Yorkshire puddings on there. Yeah. And yeah, everything's going to awesome. go inside them. The gravy, the pigs and blankets, the stuffing, gonna the be potatoes one, and the carrots. One hell of a meal, man. It's going to be lovely, mate. I'm honoured. Thank you. <laughs> Chicken in there, boys. Get yourself a load of that. Yeah, Liam. Thank take the uh, take the veg. Take the veg. I've got some chicken on my fork. <laughs> Legend, man. Look at that. Good pot of boiled veg with some carrots. Let's some see what. Let's see what the stuff is saying. Oh yeah, dudes. We can get away with that. The gone well. So guys, got this awesome Yorkshire pudding filled with pigs and blankets, chicken. I'm gonna put some gravy on the top. And now I'm gonna dig in. Thank you so much, Craig and Ben. All good, bro. So guys, just about to dig into this excellent meal that Craig's made me and Ben from East Anglian Bushcraft. Just uh, so good, man. Thank you. It's uh, so good. It tastes even better than it looks, guys. And to be honest, I can't believe I'm having this out in the woods. What a bonus. I haven't filmed loads and loads of stuff as it started to get dark because we've been having such a good time. Um, just enjoying the fire, enjoying the vibe. It's been really good and we've just been cooking this over a long period. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Definitely go out and check. East Anglia Bushcraft's YouTube channel check out his video and see his take on the trip because it'd be awesome to see it from both points of view I'm sure and yeah I'm gonna dig into this so while I enjoy I hope you do too got the candle set up in the levee so had an awesome evening guys um, I'm gonna hit the sack very soon just gonna chill a little bit more by the fire um, and then I'm gonna get into my sleeping bag I'm on the inflatable mat which is really comfy and I'll close the doors of the levee I've got my little UK lantern in here so it's really cozy and I've had an awesome night Craig's just getting ready for bed now thanks for tuning in I'll catch up with you guys in the morning she's on boys good old job Craig I had a really good evening, guys. Just up now, it's about half seven. Craig's got the fire going. The Lavu was really comfy and the sleeping mat was also, um, yeah, I only woke up about once. Turned off, blew the lantern out because, uh, yeah, that was going away. The beeswax candle was smelling really nice in the Lavu though. And yeah, had an absolutely awesome night. Some great food, great company. It's beautiful. When my shelter's done, you have to come to Tampa Bay. That'd be amazing. Yeah. It's looking so good as well. The walls, you, the walls you made. We're getting it, man. I'm just stoked to get the roof on now, really. And the sleeping area is like a good length, isn't it? Yeah.
Where's my silky? I'm gonna chop that up and then I'm gonna split I'm gonna split that with my axe. Nice. Yeah. So it's such a nice, beautiful morning here at camp. The moss was really nice to sleep on, really comfy and cozy, and the Lavoo treated me really well. I was in a little silk sleeping bag liner inside my Corinthia Defence One, and I did have a bivy bag over the top of it. Um, and I was really cozy all night. I left the candle lantern going just to give a little bit of warmth when I got into the Lavoo and closed it up. Um, and yeah, really, really nice. So I'm just on the hunt for a little bit of um, dead standing that we can use this morning for, for some uh, breakfast cooking. There's plenty around. I'm just being a little bit picky. So there's a nice wind-blown bit of uh, ash it looks like again here. So I'm going to go for that. Joy sand, can't Yeah, so, so good. Yeah. Abrasive. Mate, do you know what we used to do for fires, man, in Afghan? We'd get like an ammo box, yeah. fill it full of sand, and then fill it full of petrol, and then you light it, and that'll burn for like eight hours, mate. That's amazing. Dude. Really? Yeah. I'm crazy. <laughs> Just uh, get a little bit more loose, wouldn't it? The talk of the forest. Mm -hmm. That's how you communicate, bro. It's a proper cool little shelf, Ben. I loved it. The sausages are looking good, man. Got to turn them around. A good grill that. Tasty AF. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Good looking bacon and sausages there dude. Ben and Craig are treated me again with breakfast. <laughs> They've got some awesome bread rolls with some cheese it looks like on the top. They've got some squadron leader sauce which they're raving about so I'm gonna have a go at that. And yeah awesome. This cool little shelf that Ben made really really inspiring just a simple notch cut out of the upper and then it just slots in savage Every time I eat a breakfast I want this sauce, I need to buy some of this guy. I was just saying, I really like Worcestershire sauce, but I've never been a fan of like brown sauce. Um, but that's really tasty, this is so good. What a way to have breakfast in the morning. 
Thank you, boys. How's your food, Craig? Mate, it's so tasty. It's really good. Just what you want in the in the morning, ma'am. Mm. Thank you, Ben, and thank you, Craig. Thank you. Great company, ma'am. Oh, pleasure, bro. It's so good. I'm going to finish this, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. So I'm off guys, um, I've got to go. My mum's going into hospital for a kind of routine operation, not really routine, something to do with her eyes. So a big moment for her. So I've got to head off a bit early. So I've given these guys all the water, haven't I? Um, yeah, thanks for that, so, mate. Um, yeah, sorry I'm not here to help put down the fire and uh, strike camp a little bit more, but thanks so it's much. It's all good, you've got to be there for your mum, mate. Cheers for coming down, no it's been mega, mate. It has it's been, been awesome. wicked. I've we'll really enjoyed it. Definitely so, camp again for yeah, sure, man. You've got to come down my neck of the woods yes. and uh, we'll have a good time. Real good time meeting yes. you. Absolutely. And you Absolutely. guys stay Look safe. forward to doing it again. Wicked. I'll get some rubbish for you as well. Top man. Awesome. Cheers for the uh, heated inner soles as well, by the way, bro. No worries, really I hope you come well on the walk. So Craig's just walking me to the pass now. And then I'm going to head on my way down back to the truck. I've got the rubbish with me. And uh, Craig is following in for seat. Thanks yep. so much for having Being me, man. You're a gentlemanly thing, mate. Honestly, I've no. really enjoyed myself. You've been a proper gentleman this whole Thank time, you. man. With the yeah. food and everything. Definitely go check out his channel, his Instagram, it's East Anglian Bushcraft. He's been such a legend, such a good host, and I hope to return the favour very soon. So yeah, go and check him out. Thank you so much, my man. No worries, it's been a pleasure. Dude. Cheers, man. So awesome. shovels. And you also. Awesome. Absolutely awesome time. Glad to see she's all safe, which is a relief. All the other cars are too. Um, I've had an awesome time, so definitely, I know I keep repeating it, go check out East Anglian Bushcraft, drop him a massive like, a thumbs up, watch his videos, they're awesome. And yeah, I'll see you soon. And until next time, stay safe. I'll see you soon. <laughs>